Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you're joining me today for something that I have really been looking forward to, a big part of the journey, bringing my GT Black Series here to Dubai, thanks to my friends at Quant Fury. Well, there's a big story, as you probably know from the videos, behind this color, behind the solar beam yellow, and that's what today is all about. So we're here at the moment at a familiar location at the space. Inside this private venue is the most incredible display of hypercars. Well, there have been some new additions that we're going to go inside to check out, but then we're going to be taking one of the cars out, a particular solar beam yellow SLS AMG Black Series. Plus, in addition to mine, we're also going to be joined by my friend that I filmed with before and his solar beam C63 AMG Black Series. So the recent three Black Series models, all in the iconic solar beam paintwork in an exclusive shoot that I don't think could be recreated anywhere else in the world at this time, all three in the same color. And we're gonna be taking them out for a drive over to the desert. I can't wait for this, but first let's head inside at the space and go have a quick update. If you've been following the journey of this Schmimobile so far, you'll know that I took delivery of it originally in graphite gray Magno, which is the Mercedes AMG satin black or satin very dark gray. It looked awesome. It was very Batmobile-esque. It was fantastic, but I always wanted it in solar beam. In fact, if we rewind back four years when I had the original AMG GTR, the Beast of the Green Hell, I had wrapped it in a color very similar to this because the price of the paint was really very expensive. I then avoided solar beam for the GTR Pro, the GTR Roadster, and even my SLS Black Series. It was the launch color for the SLS because I was saving it for the GT Black. Now, when it arrived, they presented the striking Magma Beam. And in fact, the GT Black Series here at the Space is in Magma Beam, but I wanted solar beam. That's why it went to Chartwell. That's why it was resprayed. It had been in the plans for so long. And it's such an important color to the Black Series family. It was the launch color originally for the C63, although it wasn't available for customers. So there are very few out there, including the one here. I believe the factory must own one. And also my friend Raz back in the UK removed before race. He's done the peelable paint spray on his, although our cars haven't yet been in the same place. So to actually have all three together, could perhaps be done at the factory, although they don't have a GT Black Series themselves in Solar Beam. They only potentially have the Prototype C and their SLS that I've driven before. Or well, that's about it. Maybe in the UK, if Raz and I found another friend with an SLS in Solar Beam. Anyway, you get the point. This is a pretty exclusive thing to set up and it's been a big part of this car. So we will get them out into the sunshine. It's a color that looks so, so, so good on this car with the contrast against all of the carbon fiber, but also out here in the sunlight in the desert of the Middle East. And it is surreal that this car is actually here, but enough talk before the C63 arrives. Let's head inside at the space and go have a quick update. We're going to be greeted by something very, very nice in front of us, the Koenigsegg Regera. Now, on my previous visit to the space, this was actually out for a service. It's back now, first time seeing it, and in the bright yellow, looks awesome. But this is the hypercar room. We have the Devo, the LaFerrari, the two P1 Carbon Series flanking the 918, the LaFerrari Aperta, and the other Devo. We took out both Devos last time I was here, and what an experience that was. But this is very much hypercar dreamland. If you haven't seen the space before, just feast your eyes around this extraordinary room with the latest and greatest, lots of lovely bright colors right up my street, the different cars that we have in here. But I'm making a beeline up to come to the very center where you can see the trio of the open Barquetta hypercars. On the left, the McLaren Elva. In the center, the newly arrived Aston Martin V12 Speedster. And on the right, the Ferrari Monza SP2. Now the SP2 and the Elva, in fact, the two Elvas were here on my previous visit, but this is brand new. One of the 88 Aston Martin V12 Speedsters featuring their 5.2 litre twin turbocharged V12, 700 horsepower in the car that is like the other two, permanently open, no windshield, no windscreen, no roof, just about being lightweight, about being driver engaging, being focused, being exciting. And obviously this is a personal specification that the space have created for their car in the orange with the white buttresses sitting behind the driver and the passenger. You have that floating bridge that runs through the center and the same around the front, creating the livery and the effect. And actually the, let's say, say light orange, mid orange and red color scale of those three cars as well, plus the lovely Rolls Royces and the SLS 
black series, we should come to this. The launch color scheme, the solar beam yellow exterior with the bronze calipers. And so many people, I think, thought I was going to go for this color on my SLS, but I always planned when I would eventually, hopefully get the GT black series to have the two together, which is why I made my SLS black series into mystic blue, because I knew it would look so good alongside this, or in fact, the GT black as we have it outside. Now, this is a car that I've actually seen a few times before, a very yellow individual bespoke interior for it. But I first saw this car myself out in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia about two and a half years ago. Well, it's here now as part of the space. I'm going to have it outside very shortly, along with the C63 before we go for a drive. This is really surreal. I know it's just a color of a car, but it's a color that I think means a lot. It's a very significant color for the Black Series brand, which is obviously hugely important for Mercedes AMG. It's a color that I know a lot of you have followed me through with the different processes of wrapping the GTR, of not ordering it for the SLS, then doing the respray of the GT Black Series. And today we're pulling off a crazy shoot with some epic photos as well, and always a lot of fun. So yes, we're here at the space. I I'm gonna just take a minute, a pause, a quick update myself, and then hopefully the C63 will arrive and we can get the three all together. The first thing we're going to do then is to pull out the SLS. So let's have a start up. That sounds wonderful. That's the magma beam, by the way. We didn't really talk about it, but that's the halo spec for the GT Black. So both of those technically in their launch colors and they look awesome together. But something I have realized is this is actually going to be the first time ever my GT Black Series has been alongside another solar beam yellow car. Now solar beam being a multi-layer pearl metallic, is always different. From car to car, it will always be a touch different. Same with Giallo Triple Strato from Ferrari. So it's intriguing to see how close it's gonna be between the three cars, to be honest, very shortly. That does sound good. Let's get it out into the sunshine and let's see how they are. Out the SLS emerges. That is cool. That is very, very cool. Well, to the human eye, they look identical, as they should, as you'd expect. Oh, that's mega. That is really, really, really nice. And this is before we're joined by the sea as well. Let us get on the road then, which means in here, one press, second press for the power. Turn it into individual, press and hold the paddle. And it gives you a very, very, very nice startup sound. So onwards, the C63 is going to meet us at the desert destination where we're heading to. Oh, AC is absolutely blasting. So we're gonna convoy with the GT Black, oh, music as well, everything happening at once here. GT Black and SLS Black in solar beam. Black solar beam, confusing. But anyway, onwards to the desert. Off we go then. So following the SLS, let's go get these out into the sunshine. It's hard to explain that I'm actually really excited about this because I know that at the end of the day, this is just a shoot with kind of familiar cars but I've poured and invested a lot into Solar Beam. Um, obviously, respraying a car is both a big financial commitment in terms of the car, but also an actual big, <laughs> big outlay to begin with. It's not a cheap thing to do. So to have gone down that path and had this car changed to Solar Beam is a big deal. So onwards, let's go get this done. That's so nice. <laughs> they also make completely different noises. Obviously in here we've got the pops and bangs and that fizz that you get from the flat plane crank twin turbo, whereas that's the naturally aspirated kind of beastly roar and grumble, as is the sea. But we have these horrible speed bumps, I've talked about them a lot. I have to scrape the bottom, there is no other way over. At least it's just cheap plastic and the parts can be repaired and replaced when we get back or whenever I feel like it in the future. For now, as you can see, it's getting towards that kind of golden time of day, the perfect time of day to have cars like these out for a bit of a shoot together. What is going on here? Chaos, gotta look out always. You never know what's gonna be happening. All right, rock and roll, on we go. I think we need to hear some SLS. Oh yes. 
<laughs> Lovely, very nice. And then the crackle, snap, pop and crackle of this. We've reached our exit and we are now heading slightly off the beaten track. As you can see around here, surrounded by a very deserty looking environment and a wonderful place to shoot these cars. I've got the SLS on my tail and I suppose somewhere around here we're going to find a bright solar beam yellow C63 Black Series. For the moment though, this is... Oh, we've got a Rolls Royce coming towards us. A Wraith followed by an SVR. Yeah, you can just hear all the sand and dust and everything all around. I don't think we're going to be taking this car off the sides because that's not going to go so well. But there are a lot of amazing places to shoot cars like this. And there's probably some stuff going on as well. So we'll see what we can find. I'm just looking in the mirror and the SLS behind it looks awesome. It looks so cool. So yeah, let's get all of these lined up together. The kind of fun thing is there's something in camo there. The test car, is that a Mercedes SL? Yeah, that looks like an SL. So that could be upcoming hybrid, most potent version. Not entirely sure. Either way, I suppose if you're here with Mercedes and you've got a bunch of solar beam black series coming through, that's kind of cool as well. Probably. <laughs> so we're heading to where we know the C63 is awaiting somewhere across here. I'm just like trying to look out for it, work out where it is, but I suppose we shall find it in a moment or two. This is obviously an area being prepared for the future, but at the moment is a whole lot of nothing, which is totally, totally crazy. I'd imagine if you were here in like a buggy of sorts, that would be really quite good fun really fun. Where's the C63? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's over this away, but I can't see it yet. It must be waiting for us. I'm, I'm like buzzing to see that car again. I've seen it a few times. I've uh, been out with the owner, had a little run out with it. But having them all together, it's going to be the icing on the cake. There we go. There we go. As we head up through the sand, this is actually happening. This is really cool. You gotta watch out over sand because you can actually mess up diffs and stuff with that. Nice. So. There we go. <laughs> that is cool. That is really cool. The trio, first time ever these three solar beam black series have been together let's go say hello to the guys look at this the cars are being lined up for a photo shoot here but that is the solar beam trinity <laughs> i'm a little bit lost for words gt's fans are running in overdrive as they always do which by the way is to do with having the gt3 style repositioned radiator it doesn't work so effectively when the car is at a standstill which means they have to run it with the calibration at full blast for a fair old while. We've got the C63 Black Series tucked in behind. Great to see this car again. A few updates since I last saw it. Now running the HRE wheels, but with the track pack and the interior has been redone as well. Bucket seats, cage, looking lovely. And of course the SLS here as well, all positioned for a photo for which I probably need to get out of the way. But that is something that, like I said, has never been done before until now. And they are looking magnificent together. There are actually a whole load of cars around at the moment. There's a Lamborghini Huracan just blasting by over in that direction. Obviously, this is a brilliant place to come with all sorts of cars. That sounds really quite nice. And that view looks insanely nice. There's no other way to describe it. And the good news is the colors are all spot on, which is obviously something that I had mentioned earlier. <laughs> obviously the sun catching at slightly different angles, but we have been looking at them closely and in person, totally, totally, totally spot on. Ah, oh, this is just awesome. And like I said, perhaps in Germany, if they have a customer GT Black Series in solar beam, it could be pulled off. Or perhaps if I was in the UK with my car, that's not the immediate plan. More details to come on that very soon. But yeah, this is something I wanted to try and do in December. You might remember, obviously, the C63 that I filmed with before. Obviously, I'll pop the owner's link down below as well. But yeah, this is... I'm just listening to the Lambo. 
<laughs> the desert in Dubai with the sun setting. All sorts of cars around, up to all sorts of things. What a location, what a shoot. This is just, yep, as cool as cool can be. We're having a quick reshuffle. I tell you what, that sounds really good. The SLS just chilling on its own. I'd have loved a Solar Beam SLS, don't get me wrong. I think that looks absolutely amazing. I went for the Mystic Blue purely because I wanted to have the variety of colors in the garage. I always like to have everything looking a little bit different from one another. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, fingers in the air. That was really loud, so yes. I like the idea going forwards of every car in the garage being a different color from every other car. Look at that, sun setting, madness. What an awesome evening. Lambo coming by. Okay, look at this, all lined up. I love this. A G-Wagon has just done what G-Wagons do and goes straight across, but hey, it made it to where we are. And it showed us how to do it in style. <laughs> <laughs> Beast. Different kind of fun, hey? Totally different kind of fun. The Lambo's still at it though. Driving around and around and around and around. That's cool. And then mine is tucked on its own over that away. Last of the photos before the light's gone. <laughs> We're just having a little chat. They're out having a blast. Why not, hey? Why not indeed? I can just hear the Lambo coming from somewhere. It's definitely lapping. Obviously sounds a bit familiar to my STO back at home. Wailing away. Another photo shoot. <laughs> We're joined by another Lambo. <laughs> Hurricane Evo Spider. It's actually quite funny out here in the desert. Everybody just having a good time. It is very quickly getting dark, but we're heading out then. Bit of a convoy. The sea in front of us, the SLS in front of that. Just have to watch out for all of the sand around, but I'm exhausted. It's always exhausting out in the heat here, if you're not used to it. <laughs> pop, pop, bang. So a huge thanks to Aldrich, who's been taking the pictures out here. I cannot wait to see the result of those right now, but we're gonna drive back with the three Soda Beam Black Series to the space. This is quite the little drive right now. We've got the two cars in front of us. Apologies that it's dark, but the noise of the C63 is mental, absolutely mental. Listen to this. Look oh, out there. <laughs> We're actually now following both of the other two cars. Mental, the sound of that is crazy. I mean, to anybody else, this must look like a ridiculously cool little convoy. The three yellow cars. I'm just driving here, you know, looking out the window at the SLS and the C. Feels a bit like the Black Series tour, except only one of the Black Series is mine on this tour. Yeah, what a drive, what a day. For the first time then, we're pulling my car, well actually we're going to pull all of the cars into the space, quite literally, to get a lovely set of photos of them all together <laughs> on the red carpet. This is quite fun. Well, how good does that look with the trio of the cars parked centre stage here at the space beneath the exploded gold Formula One car hanging from the ceiling, but the three Solar Beam Black Series cars, three very different driving experiences, as I talked about a lot during the Black Series tour with my trio, where you have the GT, which is the ultimate track machine, the SLS, which is the perfect dynamic Grand Tourer, and the C63, which is a fun to drive, boisterous, shouty thing, a lot of fun in different ways. The three latest Black Series models of the six, of course, prior to these, you had the SLK55, the SL65, and the CLK63, but it was the introduction of the C that brought with it the arrival of the Solar Beam yellow paint, and exactly why we now have these three here today. 
together, which has never been seen prior to today. That is really quite a cool thing to have been able to do and very much something I had been dreaming about setting up just to get those shots, to see them all together. So it's a huge thanks to The Space for bringing out the SLS, to my friend with the C63, and also of course to my friends at Quant Fury for making it possible for my GT Black Series to be out here as well. Some amazing memories with that car out here in the Middle East. But for today, that is going to be all. Thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support an awful lot. I hope you've enjoyed this next installment in the Solar Beam story. But that's it for this time, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.